Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have a 100% honest famous slime shop review and I will be reviewing Slime OG aka OG Slimes. I purchased twice from her from two separate restocks so I have two packages to show you guys. They totaled to around $160 but because she had some discount codes I paid around $130. The first package had six slimes and I paid around $77 for that one. The second package had four slimes and I paid around $55 for that. In total, I have 11 slimes to show you guys and review. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it would really help if you do like, comment, and subscribe. It will let me know that you guys want more content from me. Anyways, everything came packaged really well, either in a bubble mailer or a box. They were all bubble bagged and she did give me some extras like her wristband, some candy, her borax care sheet, and as you can see, the first package has the updated one. I also wanted to mention that she did update her prices recently, so the prices on my order confirmation or the ones that I list might not be accurate. Anyways, I will start off by showing you guys the most recent package that I ordered. First off, we have Bubble Berry Crunch and all of these came in her flat 8 ounce containers except for Easter Eggs which is in a 6 ounce U-Line container. I also ordered Mojito, Shark Boy, Build-A-Bear, and Garlic Knots. First off, we have Bubbleberry Crunch. This one came in a flat 8 ounce container and it is bubblegum and cherry scented. To me, it smelled like a bubblegum and a licorice berry, so it smelled pretty good like a fruity berry candy. I loved how the slime didn't fully mix. It arrived in separate colors, so it still had the purple and the pink, although it wasn't as vivid as the picture in the listing. Anyways, this was a clear glue based slushy slime and the beads in this were opaque and they were flatter than other slushy beads. If you had the slime or tried out other slushy slimes, you may notice it gives the slime an amazing texture. As you can see, it is very crunchy. The overall name matches with the slime very well. It crunches, it smells like bubblegum and berries. It also had a cute little mix of glitters on top. Usually her crunchy slimes are packed with add-ins so usually they have more beads than usual and I really like that. I prefer my floams and my slushy slimes to be packed with beads so that they become super crunchy. Overall I am a huge fan of this slime and all of her crunchy slimes. Next up we have Mojito and this is one of her thick icy slimes and it is swirled or kind of like a white and light green slime. It also has these small little green leaf glitters that I think they are super cute and I haven't seen another slime using the same glitters before. The scent for this was very strong. It was a strong mint mojito scent so it smelled like lemon and lime and mostly mint. As you can hear, it is a very sizzly icy slime. It's very thick. It kind of reminds me almost of a cloud cream. It is only slightly wet and after you play with it, you can fluff it up and it makes really nice sizzles.
Next up we have Shark Boy, and this one is probably my favorite run out of this package. It is a thick clear slime and it has this beautiful aqua blue color. It has some foam beads, fishbowl beads, and little blue bijou beads, holographic star glitters, and a little shark charm. There are a ton of add-ins in this slime and it is super clear. It's so gorgeous and it is listed as an unscented slime, but I do smell a subtle candy-like scent. It kind of smells like a light blue raspberry or a watermelon candy scent. I love how gorgeous this is. It is very thick. It's super clicky, and I just love playing with this one since it is a little scented, so it doesn't smell like glue or anything. The color of the slime matches spot on with the shark charm as well. So I would really recommend this slime. I usually prefer my slimes to be scented, which is why I don't buy unscented clear slimes often. And I'm glad I bought this. And now I know that maybe her clear slimes are slightly scented. So I would probably want to try out more of her clear slimes. Next up we have Build-A-Bear and this one is a very thick and dense white cloud slime. It smells like sweet, sweet cookies and cake to me. It also came with a tiny little red heart which matches the Build-A-Bear theme so well. If you guys haven't been to Build-A-Bear to build a bear before, you actually get to choose like the bear and you stuff it yourself and when you stuff it yourself, they give you a little red heart that you can put inside it which is super cute. And this slime just matches so well since the white cloud slime is supposed to be the stuffing. This cloud slime recipe feels very similar to one of her earlier cloud slimes that I purchased. It is very hard to stretch as you can see and it's a little stiff. It is a very dry cloud slime and it has very slow drizzles but it does fluff up really nicely. But there is also a good amount of snow fallout. I actually have two of her cloud slimes from a while ago. I have a review from three months ago, which will be linked down below. And that cloud slime was pretty much perfect to me. It wasn't very stiff. It did not have a lot of snow fallout and it was still very fluffy and drizzly. So this batch or her recipes might have changed or just they're not as consistent. But overall, it makes a very fluffy and slow drizzly cloud slime and if you don't mind the fallout then you would enjoy this slime. Next up we have garlic knots and I am a huge fan of garlic bread scents since I had tried out like three other garlic bread scents and this one smells really good as well. But if I were to compare the garlic bread scents, this one isn't as great as the other ones I have smelled. I'm not sure how exactly to describe it, but I would say that it kind of smells like garlic bread and tap water. I'm not sure if it's the scent or if it's like the glue that's making it smell like that. But overall, it smells mostly like garlic bread, which I really enjoy. Anyways, this is a super thick slime, and I think it was slightly overactivated in the video, which is okay. I can just let it melt a little bit for a couple of days. So the slime was a little stiff, and it was hard to stretch. And in my opinion, this slime is too thick for the foam balls in it. I feel like the jumbo foam beads are kind of in my way and the slime is just perfect by itself. So eventually I just decided to remove the beads and play with the slime itself and I think it is perfect that way. It's thick, it smells amazing, and it also has some cute little add-ins. has the same little green leaf glitters as Mojito and also some little yellow chunks which I'm thinking is supposed to represent garlic chunks or the bread crust.
Next up we have Easter eggs and this one is in a six ounce U-line container. There is a tiny little crack in it but the slime came fine and the container still works. Anyways, this texture is kind of new or like it was new a couple of months ago. This is a float slime. It is a clear glue slime and it has a little cloud cream cloud slime balls in it. So it kind of looks like the balls are floating which is really cool. The clear slime in this was slightly greenish and blue and the balls were like pink and yellow and blue I believe. Anyways, this slime was super fun to mix. I really like these float slimes. When you mix it up, it turns into like an icy jelly or a cloud cream, probably. Mostly a cloud cream type of slime. I'm not exactly sure what it's scented since the listing is gone now, but it smells like a subtle, sweet, fruity candy scent. Overall, I really like this slime and I would recommend it for people who love mixing their slimes themselves. We are now on the second package. This was ordered a month before the first one from a separate restock. And I do want to mention that I do film everything right when they arrive. Anyways, I purchased four slimes or five if you count the two from the duo. So there is cherry lemonade, mint chip ice cream, root beer float, and the berry cobbler crust duo. First off, we have cherry lemonade and this is an 8 ounce and it smells exactly like cherry lemonade so it's a sour cherry and lemon scent. This was a cloudy clear glue based slime. It has some mini jelly cubes and it also has some fishbowl beads, female slices and a red pom pom to look like a cherry and also a larger yellow one. Overall, this slime has a ton of cute add-ins and I love squishing the pom-poms and breaking up the jelly cubes. Next up we have mint chip ice cream and this has a beautiful mint color. It has tons of black glitter in it to kind of look like the chips. It does smell exactly like a mint chip Oreo ice cream but slightly watered down. I'm not sure how to explain it but it doesn't smell very creamy or minty. It smells mostly like an Oreo ice cream with like a hint of mint. This slime was very thick and dense and it does somewhat feel like a butter slime. I know she dimensions that it feels exactly like a butter slime but without the clay. So the slime is very stretchy, it's creamy, it also has some bubble pops and it does have some snow fallout or snow residue in my hands which I don't prefer. 
This is just my personal preference, but if I was looking for a sizzly or creamy slime, I would probably choose a clay slime or a butter slime since it does not have any snow fallout. Overall, it is still a really nice texture and it looks exactly like ice cream and it makes really nice sizzles as well. Next up we have the Berry Cobbler and Crust Duo. So it came with two little tiny little three ounces. So it came with a Berry Cobbler slime which is a darkish, purplish, blackish jelly cube slime and also a buttery crust slime. The pie crust slime smells exactly like a cinnamon pie crust and it is a creamy butter slime. The berry cobbler smells exactly like berries. It has tiny jelly cubes, some foam beads, and also some fishbowl beads. I decided to mix the two slimes, so I wanted to assemble the pie. I rolled the pie crust slime into a ball. I flattened it and added a little indent so I could add in some of the berry cobbler slime. So the final product looked so realistic. It looked exactly like berries and pie. After mixing the slime, I totally regretted my decision. I preferred the butter slime texture itself and when I did mix it, it didn't make the prettiest color. So if you do buy this duo, I recommend that you don't mix it and keep it separate. Lastly, we have Root Beer Float and this is a clear slime with a cloud cream or cloud slime ball inside and it's supposed to represent like root beer with an ice cream inside. The clear slime was super thick, it was glossy and mixing in the cloud ball was so fun. It made the slime into a lighter brown color and it turns it into a thick jelly or cloud cream. This slime smells exactly like root beer, so if you love root beer, then this slime would be great for you. Fun to mix, makes a really nice texture. Overall, I loved most of the slimes that I purchased from her, especially since she has a huge variety. Her slimes are very creative, they have tons of add-ins, and she always has some discounts. She has one of my favorite slime shops, so I would continue to purchase and review her. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any other shop recommendations, then let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!